Hello everybody. Um, I just thought I would do an announcement for um, this month's read along. Um, and I'm doing it because the video I posted last night um, that was the science and faith and the uh, um, the maybe midrash um, whole thing has brought a lot of um, thought up and to my noggin and a lot of uh, nostalgia we'll say um, I think it's safe to say you can have nostalgia about um, faith maybe um, but I wanted to if you watch the video, the last third of the video um, is me talking about <laughs> just theories, like just pondering, um, just um, throwing questions out there. And um, I'm actually having quite a lot of discussion about that um, with some people in the comments and um, on Voxer and stuff like that. And it's been really, really cool. Um, and the comments I've gotten on that video have been so meaty that um, I haven't had a chance to respond to everybody. Um, if you've left a comment on that, um, I'm sure I did a little like on it or whatever. And as I can put thoughts together, um, I'll respond. I don't want to just, like, speak out my ass. Um, but anyway, so I wasn't going to do a read-along this month because of the move and everything, but I figure, um, given another week, things will be pretty normal here. In fact, let me just make sure on a date here, um, thinking like the 21st so this will start on the 21st um and what it's going to be is probably the book that shaped my ridiculous ponderings more than anything else and that is um Kurt Vonnegut's Breakfast of Champions this um this is my beater copy um this is one of those books that I've had multiple copies of this version and I love it so much and then I'll go oh, I'll meet somebody I'm like oh you gotta read Breakfast Champions and then I lend it to them and I never get it back which is fine because um, it just gives me an excuse to go buy another copy of it <clears throat> but I did get this copy a couple years ago um, I really like this uh, print run of all of Vonnegut's stuff with his uh, drawings on it and stuff. I just think they're gorgeous. This is probably my least favorite cover that they did for all the books, but this is fun. And um, this print run where they did all of these, these are cool, and this is kind of how I first probably got into Vonnegut through this these versions. But they have these rad little pictures, and I'm like, why didn't they just make that the cover of the book? Like, instead of this weird V with the lines across it. I just I just don't get it. Um, but yeah, that would have been a great um, cover, just on its own. But anyway, <clears throat> this book, um, let me see, I'll, I'm going to read a little bit of the back. Um, just so you guys have an idea of what it is. And if you've read some of Vonnegut's stuff, like there will be people in here you recognize. Um, so Breakfast of Champions is Vintage Vonnegut. One of his favorite characters, aging writer Kilgore Trout, finds to his horror that a Midwest car dealer is taking his fiction as truth. The result is a murderously funny satire as Vonnegut looks at war, sex, racism, success, politics, and pollution in America 
and reminds us how to see the truth. <clears throat> this is so good. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know what else to say about it. I've read this book so many times. It's like, ugh. It's amazing. But anyway, so I really hope that, um, uh, I, I just really hope you guys, um, take part in this. So you have some time to get it. Um, if you can't get it, let me know on Voxer or something and I'll make sure you get a copy. Um, it's just, um, a really fun book and it, I think that really shaped a lot of the thoughts I have on stuff. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see what you guys think about it. So again, that'll start on the 21st and kind of run through the weekend and the week. Um, it's not a big book and there's a lot of pictures in it. Um, not that that's awesome, but like, he has a lot of drawings in it. Um, it's just so funny. Like, this book cracks me up so much. It's oh, the Pluto Gang. Oh, God, it's so funny. It's such a good book. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, my favorite one. Yeah, there you go. So, um, I hope you partake in this. Let me know down below if you're going to do it. Um, it'll be worth it. Trust me. So I will see you later. Bye.